Thank you for tuning in to Upland, Inside the Game, I am Blood Spirit, and I'm going to jump right into this. There's a whole bunch of house cleaning. I'm going to pass all that stuff and get in there because I promised you my opinion on the reason why things are going downward on the Upland game, and things are going downward. That doesn't mean it's going to stay that way, but here's some things that they need to take care of in order to be able to rewrite this ship and move up because here are my five opinions on why this is happening. Views are down across the board. Subscriptions are down across the board. People aren't caring anymore. Discord is not nearly as fluent, at least my Discord and the smaller Discords. I don't pay much attention to the big Discords, and that's one of the topics I'll cover. But across the board, from my analysis and my team that has looked into this, everything is going downward. Detroit should have been minted out in hours. Still not minted out completely. There is a lot of reasons why this is happening, and I think the Upland team is panicking, but if the Upland team will just listen and deal with these five things, they could fix themselves with no problem. Number five is underwhelming promises. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. I've never seen a company act like this before. The biggest problem is the still, not the biggest, but one of these examples is the openings. They still do not have smooth openings. Even in Detroit, when a lot of people weren't that interested in minting in Detroit, it still was not a smooth opening. The, the system went down for a while. People were about ready to mint properties in a wide open area, and the system went down. When it came back up, all the properties were gone. And those that is a challenge for people. When you're investing your real life hard-earned money, you want a fair shot at being able to get some of these properties. And when your system goes down, maybe they were already gone or whatnot, but who cares? You don't know for sure. If you didn't what happens when a system goes down and comes back up, you feel screwed. And that's one reason why a lot of people don't like it anymore. The next one is businesses. We were promised businesses three months ago. Uh, even more than that, I had a complete deep dive entire thing that we were going to do and, and talked about different types of businesses and how they could be great and how they could be wonderful and all those types of things. But, but the problem with it is, is still here today, they only got a handful of businesses in the game. That's it. All these other buildings are being built, but they're not having businesses put in. For the amount of people that you claim that are playing this game up land, the amount of businesses that you have open, you should be ashamed of yourself. That is disgusting, and it's almost impossible to figure out how you can apply and qualify to get a business. It takes a whole lot of time that a lot of people don't really have to be able to put into it, to be able to figure out how they can have a business in Upland. You're chasing people off. And last but not least, here is the glaring example of under over-promising and under-delivering. You came out with this big hoopla about the Upix trade thing, and it's an absolute joke and i get what you're trying to say and I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit later at least somebody has commented on your behalf and we'll talk about that a little bit later but the fact of the matter is is i can't trade in-game up with another player because you set all these ridiculous uh, uh disclaimers on there on how you have to do this and have to do that there's too many rules and policies in it so people just kind of gave up on it so you promised something that you weren't even close to delivering. Number four, Upland's public relations really needs an overhaul. Matter of fact, I can't even believe that they have one. I, I, I haven't heard of anybody. For a company that is so extremely hypersensitive about everything that is said about them, and that's a red flag all on its own. Extremely hypersensitive. They have gone out of their way. There are people that are absolutely make comments, uh, thumbs down on videos, any negative thing that is said about you. The vultures are coming out after them. And I don't know if the people that are doing these on these videos or, or whatnot work for Upland or not. I will get into that here in just a second. But they're not denying that they don't work for them. They're not putting a team that says, you know what, these are the people that we will contest things and say things. No, it's all secretive. So it doesn't there's nobody really in charge that is here is what is being said and everything is being said is assumed to be i mean they're making comments that appears to be coming from the upland 
team. So, let me tell you a little story about a guy named Vince McMahon. He's the owner of a company called the WWE, World Wrestling Entertainment. Back in 2001, Vince McMahon absolutely was the king of the crop. He put all the competition out of business. He was the last man standing. And when Vince McMahon got to the top of the mountain, what did he do? He decided that instead of focusing on content that he was going to put on his show, he started focusing on destroying the media. And what ended up happening was Vince McMahon put such a focus on that that his, his, his whole entire company started to dissolve. It's nothing what it used to be. It was one of the biggest shows that is out there. He didn't understand that no matter what people say about you, whether it's good or bad, unless it's just an absolute hatchet job, which I'm running close to being doing right here, unless it's an absolute hatchet job, you got to work with them. Every time I put a video out there, guess what people do? They talk about Upland. That's a good thing. Every single time I say something negative, they talk about Upland. That's a good thing. Every time I say something positive, they talk about Upland. But maybe not as much as they do when I talk, say something negative. And maybe somebody overhears the conversation and asks about Upland. And that's how it gets spread. The media and the content creators are on your side even when they're saying negative things. Everybody in a big business gets that. I will show you why they're hypersensitive about the media and the content creators right here. This here is the Upland Broadcasting Community page. They have picking people that will not say anything bad about the Upland game whatsoever. So if you want to hear the negative side of some of the Upland stuff, don't go to these channels. They're not going to say it. I do like these people. There's a few people I really like. Radish Head, I've become fairly decent friends with. Upland Guide's pretty good. But the fact of the matter is, is they're picking content that will not say anything bad about them. Not only that, one of the longtime players in this game, Kaiser12, was actually booted off this thing because he had some things saying that the players weren't being treated fair, something along that lines, and something along the lines of you're focused more on your investors than your actual players. I got news for you, Upland. Players are investors too. I've invested a lot into this game. I'm going to add one more thing to this topic because not too long ago I made a video on how ridiculous the rule was on this exchanging of Upix in game and I got a comment on there and it's been eating me alive because what I really wanted to do was rip them apart. It was simple. I mean the guy made the stupidest comment I think I've ever seen. I really wanted to get on here and just kind of trash the guy. I decided not to and that was the one thing that all my friends and all my buddies that I work with said don't do it. Don't, don't, blood. But I'm telling you, this dude thinks that he is, is tough and, and hard. Dude, I swim with sharks. That's what I do in my career and, and job. You are nothing but a minto. And if I really wanted to come in there and trash you, I would have absolutely embarrassed you with your comment. But they said leave trolls alone. But I got to ask you, is this Upland? Is this, this guy work for the company? Look at the way that he words the stuff. I don't know. It feels like he's a part of the Upland team. Who is this guy and does he work for Upland? He sure has a lot of passion in his speaking and he sure seems like he knows stuff, but we don't know. We don't know if this guy works for Upland or not. And I'm gonna I'm hiding his name and I'm gonna delete this as soon as I'm done with it because I don't want to throw this guy under the bus. But this is one of the dumbest things that you can possibly do. It says, let me read it. Because it prevents people from stealing others' credit card account and send Upix to others. Please do think from operation perspective, which leads me to think that he might be a part of the operation. If you want to send audiences Upix, you actually can can buy now so that you can give away 60 days later. Freaking a waste of time. I know it's a big long. I know it's a big long, but I don't think it's a dump. Please do some research before up post, uh, upload post or it's as dump as they do. For Obviously, he's... Uh, English is not his first language. Does he work for Upland? I don't know. But I can tell you this, if he did work for Upland and I could prove it, I would absolutely humiliate this guy. Because what he said is absolutely ridiculous and I could absolutely bury him with his own comments. Number three. 
Okay, so this one here is not really on me, but a lot of players feel that there is some extreme favoritism going on in this game. And the favoritism has gone from top to bottom. Some of the comments that I've noticed and some of the things that I kind of agree with. Isn't it kind of funny when there is that little hiccup in the game uh, on an opening and an area gets completely bought out? and you go back and look in that area, there is quite a few familiar names in those areas when that happens. It's almost like they didn't have the hiccup themselves, but the rest of us did. I've noticed that. I have had multiple big whales, big players in this game, when they see a video like this, come on Discord and say, hey man, what do you know? And I've had a, quite a few heart-to-heart -heart conversations that they have said, hey, you know what, I'm about sick of this game and I'm done because there is clear and present favoritism. I don't necessarily know about that, but I do know that there is one p person in particular that the Upland team flies the flag of, and I've heard a lot of dirty things about this individual. I don't necessarily know if this is a family-run organization where family gets perks. If you ever work for a family-run organization, it always seems like the cousin that comes in that knows nothing about the business and they end up getting all of the promotions and all that stuff and moves above you. The big challenge that I have with family-run business is that, even though I like family-run businesses more than corporations, different topic, different subject we'll talk about later, but the fact of the matter is there is a perceived amount of favoritism in the upland game terrible customer service the customer service in upland is so bad there once was a time i made a video that said you know what i want to apply for my services in the team but the customer service is so bad there's no way i'm going to go work for a company like that they wouldn't hire me anyways i'm not being like i even have an opportunity but the customer service has got awful. You don't even have to talk to people for very long. Almost every single person I've talked to, I've asked, what do you think about the treasure hunts? Or something along that line. And almost every single person I say that to, says, oh, they're clearly being ran by bots. Treasures are being found in less than 30 seconds. You don't even get two moves. You don't even get two moves and a treasure are being found. And if you look at the winners, it's always the same person. I can promise you this, as a decent treasure hunter, I've never gotten a treasure in under a minute, ever. But yet, after the three hours, once you win, you have to sit out for three hours, the next person, those names, keep recirculating through the treasure hunts. This is ridiculous, and the, and the Upland pays no attention to it. They don't care. It means nothing to them, okay? So that is terrible customer service. Let me show you this. Here is Shibaverse. I actually sent her a Discord uh, statement when the thing came out for the, you know, being on the directory. And I simply asked her, how do I get on this page? I have a YouTube channel, the community page, the community one, which was one I wanted on. Two different messages. Look when I sent it. 1-25-2002. Look at when I uploaded this video. I didn't even get so much of the go jump off a cliff. I can handle go jump off the cliff can't handle no response whatsoever they don't even care about what an average player what their concerns are customer service an absolute joke on this number one it's a money grab that's the perception and i have a hard time arguing that one it's starting to feel even to me like that the L.A. thing was an absolute disaster. It was perceived as a money grab. I lost steam in playing the game myself. I used to be on this game every single day, playing, having a blast. These things here I agree a lot with. It's a lot of my personal opinion myself. But the money grab thing in L.A. absolutely destroyed this game. And, and the people lost a lot of enthusiasm. Let me show you something prices for properties look at this that's 1900 that's $1,900 real money to be able to buy the upex to be able to get that that's what it's going to cost you look at this this is ridiculous look at this $1,300 uh, if you bought upex to be able to do it let's see what this property over here is good lord $2,500 for that one about this one 900 well uh, there's a big one. Let's see what this one's going to cost. $2,300 for these properties. Man, it's just 
let's see what this one is 1500 just all over the place and I've heard there's some even steeper than this though I haven't seen them one what this one is 1600 um, there's even higher prices than these properties all over I mean you go down this list here you're gonna not find anything less than than eight hundred dollars fourteen hundred dollars this is just outrageous and this this has made a lot of people angry people are feeling like you know what upland is focused on getting the money for these properties and they're not um you know doing the things that they need that they promised you know uh businesses and and they have all these hiccups and all these challenges and i defended them for the longest time but i, I just it just got to the point where it got so much of the same thing and not focusing on the the bigger things so um thirty two hundred dollars for that that is unbelievable so I heard they even got a little bit more than that, but I just picked an area here and started looking around where I knew it was going to be a high-end area. But this is a challenge. This is one of the reasons why people are just flooding out of this game. And a lot of the big whales have walked out too. And that is a big challenge when that happens. But uh, the good news is tomorrow's episode is going to be what they're doing right and they are doing a lot of things right and they can cure this this here is something they can fix i hope they've learned their lesson i hope that they understand that people are not going to tolerate this that it's supposed to be something more and they are doing a lot of things right now i think they have learned their lessons and i think they're starting to move in the right direction but uh, there's nothing they can do about fixing the property prices in la they can't change the prices that will just make you people even matter 33 <laughs> Thirty-three hundred dollars. Wow. So they they kind of made their bed with the pricing here. They tried to fix it with Detroit. That didn't do anything but make people mad too, um, because they opened up a new property. They should have left it alone. They should have started building on some other stuff. So tomorrow's episode, we will start talking about what they've done right. My name is Blood Spirit. This is the Bloody Truth Inside Games. Mm -hmm.